Okay, um, how do you add an animated chart um, to a PowerPoint presentation? Um, I'll go ahead and show you how to do that. I'm using um, PowerPoint 2010 um, for this example. Okay, first thing I want to do is um, add a new slide, and I'm going to use the title and content slide uh, layout. Um, in the content section at the bottom of the slide, I'm going to choose insert chart. Um, from the different types of charts, um, I'm going to choose a clustered column and choose OK. Okay, a um, uh, Excel spreadsheet comes up um, which feeds into the PowerPoint uh, chart. And what you do is you insert um, whatever data points you want in the Excel spreadsheet. And those actually, like I said, get fed into the chart. So I have some, some data ready um, that I pulled from, I think this is the one I want to use, from the Consumer Expenditure uh, Survey. And what it does, it looks at annual um, average expenditures versus annual average housing expenditures um, between the years 2006 and uh, 2010. Okay. Uh, by default, um, three series um, are available in four categories. So um, in this case, we'll only be using t um, two series, um, annual average expenditures and annual average housing expenditures. So we'll go ahead and, um, and not use the third, and that's just basically um, dragging the chart um, data range over to exclude um, series three. And then I actually want to extend this down because we're going to have five categories as opposed to four. Um, and those are two, these years here. So we're going to go ahead and copy and paste the data that's all over here into the Excel spreadsheet. Okay, now we're going to get our first uh, data series here. Copy and paste this. And then the last series is um, annual average housing expenditures. We're going to copy and paste this data in. Okay, and as you see, it retains the formatting as well, which is good. Um, so series one, I'm going to just rename this annual average expenditures. And then I'm going to rename series two annual average housing expenditures okay so at this point we can take a look at the chart all the all the data has been fed into the um, PowerPoint chart and we're going to shrink down this uh, word window here um, so we can take a look um, and see what it looks like okay there it is um, there's one more thing I want to do is just add a title um, the slide and um, to our chart so I'm going to use um, this title that I already have ready I'm going to shrink this down and just paste it onto the slide okay and I'm just going to shrink uh, this down so it fits nicely okay all right so we're done with our um, Excel spreadsheet um, we've, we've um, added all the data that we need for our PowerPoint chart. So we're going to actually close this out. And we could always, um, uh, that can be revisited and reopened um, if you want to edit your data. But right now we're, we're done with it. Um, so what I want to do is add a little bit more formatting to this chart before I um, animate it. And what I want to do is remove um, the legend here to the right and include a data table at the bottom, which includes its own legend. Um, so I'll show you how to do that. What we want to do is go to Chart Tools and go to Layout. And what we want to do first is remove um, the legend that is here. So we're going to go to Legend and we're going to click None. And that will actually get rid of the legend. Now we want to go ahead and add a data table to the bottom of this chart. So what I want to do is go to Data Table. And I want to do Show Data Table to the Legend Key. So I'm going to click that. And that gives us um, our, our data table and our legend. It just uh, looks to me uh, just a whole bunch better. Okay, and now we're ready to do some animation. Um, and I'll explain uh, what I think would be fun to see. All right, so we want, I want to um, uh, 
make it so each of these um, data points comes in separately first series one and then series two okay and I'll show you how to achieve that effect um, I'm going to have them bounce in so there's many um, options here and we're going to choose bounce okay um, by default the animation is set up to apply the animation to the whole um, object the entire object um, but what we're going to do is um, configure it to um, for each of the data points to come in separately. How we do that is with um, effect options here. Okay, rather than have it um, the animation applied to the entire object, we're going to have the animation applied to um, each um, element in the series. So each element in the series will um, have animation. Okay. So that's all done. And one more thing I want to do is um, set it so that each of the data points follows um, the other one. So in other in other words, I don't want them to come in, and I'll have to click to each to get each data point to come in. I want each data point to come in after the other one is done. Um, and I'm actually going to show you the animation pane and play that to show you exactly what it looks like. that's what it looks like um, and actually what I think I'll do um, I didn't not really um, going to show you how to do slide transitions and whatnot in this um, particular PowerPoint demonstration it's just strictly to show you how to animate how to create a chart and how to animate a chart um, I'm going to close this down um, but you, you did see how that worked I can go ahead one more time and show you um, from the slide show exactly what it's going to look like so when you go to the slide this is what um, will be shown so instead of just a static slide, um, there's just a little bit of animation. It just adds a little bit of um, extra touch to the PowerPoint presentation um, that otherwise um, wouldn't be there. Okay, and then I'll just hit escape to get back to the PowerPoint presentation. So I hope you enjoyed this short um, demonstration. Um, and if you would like to, to contact me, um, to ask me additional questions or whatnot, uh, please feel to send me an email at info at plotbusiness.com. Thanks for watching.